Hello, my blessed and beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God bless you. And if you're new here, you're highly welcome. Please come on in and relax, okay, by subscribing to this channel and also turning on the bell for more notification. Relax, okay? This place, you will like this place. This is where we give you the authentic information on the happenings in the body of Christ. Thank you and God bless you. Yeah, in today's video, Pastor Kumuyi by himself, through the course of his ministration, shared the story of how Apostle Ayo Babalola started the CAC Church, that is Christ Apostolic Church. Hmm? How he received his call and how he started and all he encountered, you know, at the onset of the ministry. You know, concerning this CAC of Eden, there are so many versions of the story, but this one coming from Pastor W.F. Kumuye, I believe it's authentic and that is why I'm sharing it. You want to know about CAC, how it started and who God used to start it, please listen to this video, give it a thumbs up. I mean, like the video and share it. If you have not subscribed, as I said, please subscribe, okay? To support a sister and God Almighty will bless you. Thank you so much and remain blessed. Bye bye. For many years, more than 30 years, those people have been planting, have been sowing, have been preaching, have been doing a lot of things without any fruit. Now, if you know the history of the Christ Apostolic Church from about 1928 to 1930. You will see, you will remember that uh, Joseph Babalola was a tractor driver and he was uh, driving this uh, truck, uh, the, you know, the, thing, the roller rather, uh, around Elisha, Akure, and all those places in Oyo State now. At that time, it was a Western region. But then the Lord uh, spoke to him and told him that he should give his life to the preaching of the gospel. And he didn't know much about the preaching of the gospel at that time. Eventually, uh, he said, okay, oh Lord, I will yield unto you. Now, it's a long story. If you know the origin of the Christ Apostolic Church, but uh, if you get to Efalai today, you will know that the Christ Apostolic Church, you know, has taken root there very much. If you go to our area, you'll see that the Apostolic Church has taken root, Christ Apostolic has taken root much there in some parts of the western region. You know what happened there? When you go to Efalaye, for example, there was a particular forest that people never went. And uh, the uh, king there, the chief there, you know, the kings in those days were powerful. I'm talking about between 1928 and 1932. The kings, the chiefs were very, very powerful. And eventually when he got there, he said he wanted to preach the gospel. Oh, they said, all right, if you want to preach the gospel, they said they go to... The place they gave him was that a particular forest, a particular bush there. And there was a snake there in that uh, forest that if anybody went to that forest, they knew the person will not come back alive. And the people, when they gave him that a place, that way, if you want to, if you want to preach, that's a forest for you. And people warned him, don't go there because there's a snake there. He said, no, there is nothing. And then he got his people. You know, the revival that broke in out in at Elisha, uh, you know, before that time, and because of the things that had happened, he had trained some people. The uh, Faith Tabernacle, who were in Lagos here at that time many years ago, they invited him. They heard his testimonies. Some of them followed him to Ibadan and followed him to Elisha. You know, because of that process, some of the people had been trained and brought up under him. He got these people and they went to the forest and they cleared all that place. When those people came back, the villagers were surprised. Not only that, when Babalola himself went there, after taking authority over all the evil spirits and all the evil powers there, the people didn't know when they began to rush out. And they began to rush out to hear the gospel. It was the feet of the people that trod upon that big snake. They didn't know when they trod upon that snake. Very long and very big and very mighty. And then when they discovered that the snake had died, that they just trod upon the snake and nothing happened to anybody, the king, 
uh, the king, that is uh, Fualai king at that time, in the Yoruba language, at that time they called him Agbogo Sile uh, Bomi Yemora. That means that is he dropped all his juju and then he had all his you know you know the CSA with their water in the bottle and everything that now it depends on the water and not on the medicine anymore and they gave him a new name that is uh, you know they Christianized him after he had given his life to the Lord and in the way they understood at that time and they said everybody at that time it changed the whole of Ephalaye. If you lost anything on the farm, people will pick it up and bring it to the king and said, we found this on the farm. No smoking, no drinking, no idolatry, and all that. Although as, as present now, you know, that city had gone back into what they were doing before. But at that time, it was a great thing. How did it happen? Because they broke the influence of the territorial spirit that made everybody enslaved in that community. Today, there are many people, they're just laboring on. If there is any territorial spirit, if there is anything that is going on, they just, they are ignorant about it. And they think their preaching will never penetrate into the minds or the hearts of the people. Do you, re do you remember when Paul the Apostle went to, uh, in his missionary journey? And he got to this particular place, the deputy. When he got to the deputy, he was preaching. He was preaching. And then there was this uh, man by Jesus. He was resisting because he had evil power. He was using his evil power, his magical power, his power of sorcery to blindfold the deputy so that he will not receive the gospel. And so Paul the apostle stopped and he looked at him straight in the face. And if you have authority, many times you need to look at these sorcerers, witches and wizards, familiar spirit uh, people. You have to look at them straight in the face and say, you fool, you child of the devil. Full of all subtlety. Will you not stop to pervert the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? And then he said, I, with the authority of an apostle, you'll be blind for a season. And immediately he became blind. That's power encounter. The power from on high engaged and encountered the power over here and then they led him out it didn't take time for the deputy the deputy said from what i've seen there's something in the gospel he believed on the lord jesus christ you see some people are not responding to the gospel because of the general influence and effect of satan and the agents of satan